Here are the horses for the ninth race. Another division of Isoba. This one for two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. One is New Pickens, owned by Tom and Mary Alice Tietrich. Jeff Illinois, Tom Tietrich trains. He is in the bike. Two, the Joking Man, owned by David Avenetti of Chrisman. Avenetti, the trainer driver. Three, Backwater Gambler, owned by Jay Ingram of Davenport, Iowa. Tex Moach trains. Sam Widger is up. Four, Finales Ali, owned by Don Smith of Marion. Tony Alanya trains with Dave McGee. Five, Skips Man, owned by Larry and Susan Bowen by Bill Kerr of Mount Sterling. Larry Bowen trains, will drive. Six, Shannon Superfellow, owned by Randy Chrysler, Crystal Springs, Mississippi. Larry Binkley, the trainer and driver. Seven, Kiss Tag, owned by Coleman, Wright, Simpson, and Pollard, all of Illinois. Dirk Simpson trains, Tim Searle will be on the bike. Eight, Ascot Brandy, national season's leading two-year-old gelding. On by Tana Mara Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware. Irvin Miller trains, Andy Miller is up. Nine, Diamond Dickey, on by Wayne Puckett of Pittsfield. Jerry Robinson trains, Tony Morgan in the bike. And ten, Fox Valley Tuffy, on by Ray Hanna and Lyle Buzzard of Altamont. Hannah the trainer, Dale Heitman, will be in the bike. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Diamond Dickey for the lead. Out very quickly. Backwater Gambler. That pair getting away third. The Joking Man. Off start early. Skips Man. Rough get it as they drive toward the turn. And rushing on the outside. But getting away fifth as they're in the turn is Ascot Brandy. Field of pacing. Two-year-olds being led by a length and a half by Backwater Gambler. Now by a length. Now by a nose as on the outside taking command. Moving now to a length lead around the turn. To the quarter is Diamond Dickey. He'll lead him past that station as they race past the quarter 28 3 they're headed toward the back stretch backwater gambler behind diamond dickey is second on the outside underdrive moving very quickly there goes new pickens he's the new leader and behind him moving up here comes as cat brandy biding time on the outside for andy miller Picking his way past Pacers was fourth, then third, now second, now he's alongside the leader. And Ascot Brandy, before the half, takes command of this field of two-year-old Pacers off a 28-3 quarter. They've just reached the half. Ascot Brandy will guide him past there. Second behind him, New Pickens. Third on the inside is Diamond Dickey racing for Backwater Gambler. Five on the inside as they reach the half is Shannon Superfella. Outside him, Kiss Tag is next, racing eight. as they, or Seven as they drive into the upper turn is Fox Valley Tuffy. Eighth, fading on the inside as they're into the turn is Finale's Ali. They were at the half in 58-2, racing nine as they approach the uh, three-quarter mile juncture. And to reach that station now is Skip's man, and the trailer is the joking man. Ascot Brandy idles past three quarters on the outside. Moving up is Backwater Gambler second, three quarters, 128-2. Top of the lane, Ascot Brandy turns for home with Andy Miller at the control as they're in the final eighth mile. Ascot Brandy in the stretch, being chased by Backwater Gambler. Third is New Pickens. Racing fourth on the outside is Shannon Superfella. It's all Ascot Brandy. He's alone. He's the national season leader, and he is home with an eight length win 55 and one under the wire second backwater gambler third new pickens four shannon superfella five was fox valley tuffy finishing six diamond dickey seven skips man eight kiss tag nine the joking man ten was finales ali 55 one fifth big last quarter to put this pacer at the wire in 55 and a fifth he is currently the fastest two-year-old gelding in North America. He obviously is the Illinois season's leader. He is not eligible to the Colt Stakes here, but he is eligible to the Orange and Blue later at Balmoral. Here is the brilliantly fast, Irvin Miller trained, Andy Miller driven, as caught Brandy. Winning pacer bred by Dr. William R. Hunter. He's a Henry Let's Go two-year-old. That horse, unfortunately, was lost this year after siring horses like this and, of course, like Taser Gun, who won here last year. From the Nihilator mare, Ascot Almahurst, she unraced. Her previous fastest performer, Cam Scott, 57-4, so this Colt, the fastest ever from that Nihilator mare.